Dave knows how. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the backhoe. Not so much about using the backhoe, but how the backhoe is mounted to the Kubota tractor. I had a subscriber that submitted a question asking, uh, inquiring about a backhoe. He wants to put a backhoe on the back of his tractor. And he was just curious as to how the thing attaches on the tractor and a little bit about the hydraulics. So we're just going to kind of lightly touch on those subjects. So first of all, we're going to look at the back of the uh, backhoe. And this backhoe is a frame out backhoe and it's considered a four point attachment. It has four places of attachment for the frame mount on the backhoe. You got a pin right here that comes out. You've got another pin on this side that comes out. You've got this pin down here at the bottom that does not come out. It slides up into a slot on the back of the, the uh, frame mount. And we got one over here on this side. So that's four points of attachment. And thus, that's why they call it that. Let's swing over and take a look at the back of the tractor. Okay, so looking at the back of the tractor, here's their, one of their frame mount supports. And you'll notice down here we've got a slot that goes in and that's where that bottom tab would go in and slide down in there and it cradles right down in there. We've got another one matching on the other side. Up here on the top part we have this big hole right here and that's where the pin slides through. And basically you've got two of these pieces, one this side, one that side. They bolt up here, one, two, three bolts here there's two bolts here that's just holding the little bracket. It really doesn't hold anything except for support for the line, the hydraulic lines. Then you've got two bolts at the bottom that attach down to the bottom of the axle. Now if we go up towards the front of the tractor and look underneath there, we'll take a look at um, what it looks like from underneath the tractor. These supports run from the back of the tractor attaching here up to the front of the tractor and attach at the loader let's take a walk up and see it okay so if you can see this piece of metal that's coming up underneath here this is the piece of metal that extends from the very back of the tractor to the front of the tractor and it actually attaches right here where the loader frame attaches to the basic chassis or frame of the tractor it's actually not a frame it's actually the the motor and the transmission and everything comes together right here and this is pretty much bolted to that for the front end loader and the backhoe mounting frame bolts to the front end loader and that makes it a complete frame type setup actually pretty simple setup there's only four bolts up here at the front so roughly you got four bolts on the front and if i remember correctly it was five bolts on the rear and that's per side not bad so over here on on the side of the tractor this is the distribution block for the hydraulic system Basically, your hydraulic pump on your tractor comes over and feeds this distribution block. And this distribution block also has your relief valve built into it. It has a power out port, which goes up and feeds the loader valve. Then it comes out of the loader valve through the power beyond port and would typically dump back into this distribution block. Additionally, it would have a hose coming out of there. It is called the return to tank line. 
and it would dump back into the return to tank port. Now when you have a backhoe, typically the way they do it is pretty simple. They take that power beyond line that's running down here and theoretically they cut it in half and run those two ends to the back of the tractor. And that's about the simplest way that I can explain it. Of course, they're not actually cutting that line in half. They're disconnecting it from here and putting a longer line and going from there to the back and then taking another line and coming from the back back up here and going back into where that power beyond line went into this distribution block. Let's go back to the back of the tractor again and we'll look at that line and see what it looks like. So now we're back at the back of the tractor again and this is that line. And it's basically just a line that's looped around and plugs right back into itself. It's got a male and female connector. When the backhoe's not on the tractor, it's just making a loop and going back to the power beyond. It's power beyond coming this way and power beyond returning back. That's all it's doing. When you put the backhoe on, you disconnect this. You take one line from the backhoe, you plug it into the female connector, and then you take the male connector and you plug it into the other outlet on the back of the backhoe. And the backhoe's working. It's actually pretty simple to run the hydraulic lines back here for the backhoe. The frame mount is not that difficult to put on. Um, you're talking about three, five, um, nine bolts on each side to bolt the frame up. 18 bolts total. Um, it doesn't get much simpler than that. Well, I hope this video helps you to uh, better understand, um, you know, how, how the, uh, the frame system works on the, on the Kubota tractor for the, for the backhoe. Um, and just to let you know, John Deere, Massey Ferguson, uh, pretty much all of them pretty much do it basically the same way. Um, now there are some backhoes that are not frame mount. They're three point mount. They actually mount right to your three point hitch. And you know, if you're just gonna do some light digging, you know, trenching or something like that, it might be fine. But if you're gonna be digging up roots and rocks and you know, small bush, bushes and trees and stuff that's got a pretty good hold. Uh, you might want to rethink a three-point backhoe because the reason why mainly is because your three-point lift system is not pressure down. It's gravity down. It only has pressure coming up. So if you put a three-point backhoe on there and you start to dig, it will lift that backhoe all the way up off the ground and the whole three-point up off the ground. And that's gonna put a tremendous amount of stress on your three-point system on the back of the tractor. Um, I mean, three-point system on the back of a tractor is fairly durable, but you know, a backhoe is pretty strong, I mean, well, if you've seen my video about how to dig up trees uh, with a backhoe, you'll see uh, the, the picture on the front of that video is a bent hydraulic cylinder. That thing's bent like a dog leg and was snapped in half. That's just gives you an example of how powerful that these backhoes can be. Now, granted, that happened because of uh, relief valve malfunction, I'm sure, but nevertheless, the strength is there, the damage can be done. So you really have to be careful. Um, personally, myself, I would steer clear of three-point backhoe. Frame mount backhoe 
it's going to be your best bet, and that's going to be the best way to go. So I hope this answered your question. Uh, again, this was a subscriber had asked a question, and, and, and I wanted to, to try to make a video and, and show and explain to the best of my knowledge what I know about it. And uh, I may have missed on something. If I did, then somebody else can chime in in the comment section below and fill me in on your thoughts. And um, other than that, that's about it. Um, I appreciate all my subscribers and appreciate all the, the, the nice comments and everything. And I uh, certainly do appreciate all the support that I've had uh, as I've been going through this um, medical ordeal, uh, this health health ordeal. Um, the last two days I've felt pretty good. Um, I haven't looked too good, <laughs> but I felt pretty good. So, um, you know, it, it's funny because you, you, you wake up and you eat breakfast and you think, boy, this is going to be a good day. I feel pretty good. And then you go look in the mirror and you look like hell. <laughs> you know, and you're like, I look in the mirror and I go, man, I'm glad I ain't that guy. <laughs> He's messed up, you know. <laughs> anyway, appreciate you guys watching my channel. Y'all have a great day. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.